Here's the thing about data. Uh, data can lie to you if everyone knows that data exists. Um, my understanding is what happened is Duterte decided to burn, what is it called, like candle at both ends. Like on, on one hand, what he did is he fought the drug war on an island that was located in proximity to a lot of very wealthy Asian countries. It had a lot of fishermen, a lot of people made money for a currency. So he decided, I'm going to fight drugs because I think the drugs are bad because I know John Alexander exists, or John Zandar, but also John Alexander. All right, so um, he fought his own ability to have an economy. And then at the same time, I met this mathematician, real smart, um, real good at math, real sweet, like the type of person that like everyone's going to trust. And then I told him, hey, I'm about to destroy the economy. Because I really felt like it. Like, I really wanted to. Sometimes I'd get so mad at them feds. I'd be like, I'm just going to kill this whole fucking, fucking economy and just say, fuck you guys, and then make you go explain how it happened. I'm not going to build it back. But then I, I eventually learned that we were tricking these people that like to short things. Because the reality about the stock market is uh, if, you, if you actually had followed the algorithms when the stock market was super low, then the, it, it would have been pretty effective in predicting um, what was going to happen, which it, it went up. All right, so um, some people fight themselves and leave themselves weak. Um, some people, the, the thing is, I have a special relationship with the Philippines. You know, I, I have a family member from the Philippines, but it's, it, it doesn't change the reality of the situation that um, a lot of countries seem to have linked their economy to the Philippines because they're, they're like, well, he's against drugs, but they don't understand that an economy is actually a very complex machine. It's not about drugs. It's a, like our economy is not about drugs. Our, our economy is about we're smarter than everyone. And we have given people confidence in the past because we've lived up to our treaties and things like that. I mean, think about it. Uh, the Indians, these sons of bitches, sit on these reservations. I gotta go drive through that damn reservation. That little bitch-ass Indian sitting up there, Apache fucking Indian on a fucking hill, waiting for me to speed through. I swear to God, those fucking Indians. Swear to God, they're like a bunch of fucking driving Nazis in the United States. You're never gonna get pulled over unless you go to fucking Indian territory. Fucking Apaches, sons of bitches are still fucking with us because they hate us because they're like, but then you go to the Apache territory, they fucking hate us. There's nothing like the Indians. But it's not just the Indian. There are a lot of Indians. Indians hate us. They're like, fuck the Americans. It's not like I'm sitting here eating some Subway. Fuck Subway. They fucking hate Subway. No, fuck my computer. I fucking hate this badass bitch. Oh man, this internet's it's I mean it's it's actually perfectly fast, but no, seriously, like, but then we still honor our treaties with them. Cause like would it be hard to kill Indians? Would it be hard to take over the Indian territory? I mean the Indians would be like, okay. Whatever. But then they would bitch. Um but all I'm saying is, um, that's one of the reasons we have confidence. That's actually what my point was, is that we are a nation of laws. And um, so even though I, I do believe that in, in a lot of circumstances it is beneficial to defy the law, and it was beneficial, especially in the past, um, to have a drug war with yourself. Well, not com completely with yourself, that's for sure. Um, that's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, but um, even though it's – because think about it. How much – if there's no competition in the weed business, $60 ace are normal, but – um, if there's competition, then you're selling them for like 20 and it's hard to explain like $40 in a profit margin when you have, um, heavy, um, like, uh, labor involved in the business. People don't understand the marijuana business is actually a heavy labor business. Anytime you have like an agriculture type business, it can be very heavy labor. Mike's girlfriend, the reason like she is someone I actually trust and I know what she believes. Like I know what she believes. And I know that if she reads a law and she goes, okay, what's up with this? Um, and especially if she teams up with lawyers, um, like she's competent enough, just like I'm competent enough to read the law because I've read so many legal, like I've read, I've read laws like uh, the Digital Media and Copyright Act and I've read, um, um, a lot of stuff about pedophiles, and that's the thing about like the American legal system. That right now, for for like since the 90s, under Bill Barr.
pedophiles have so much protection under under the law, but based on all these superior court decisions, they like the the uh, a search of a pedophile is serious. But under Bill Barr, the search of a drug trafficker that lives in a in a, in a small town or even in a in a medium sized city or a big city, um, it, it's, it's it does it doesn't apparently like. Drug traffickers are terrorists, basically, under Bill Barr, really historically, but then pedophiles, they have this incredible legal protection unless you're breaking the law. And uh, I think it, it's been a, it's a, there's a pretty clear indication there when, when I have a story that is very obviously true that there were FBI agents or whatever agents hacking my computer and putting horse and, and women porn, which is like a very, it's like an extreme, disgusting form of porn. Um, it, it's it's pretty obvious that they didn't, they, they were not taking the the law serious ever at the FBI, and they thought they would never have to deal with it because no one's ever going to talk. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm not I'm not thinking that 25 years in the future this guy could do a hunger strike and explain to everyone about how his friends have been raped. 